Welcome to Dude RV. Man, I really appreciate you stopping by. And of course, you got here just in time. That's right, just in time for another campground video. This is an Arizona State Park. And as you saw in the title, it's Pichaco, not Pikachu. We're not gonna see any of them little, whatever they are, the Pikachu things. This is Pichaco State Park. Check that out. We got saguaro cactus. Saguaro, 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 saguaro. If you look right out there, you probably can't see it on the camera, but that's I-10. We left, we left Las Vegas this morning, headed to a harvest host, uh, but with the, anyway, we just decided to keep going and, and we drove for almost 10 hours. And we are here at Pachaco Peak. And that's the Pachaco Peak up there. We're in site number three, A3. It is a pull through site, 50 amp water. Oh, wait a minute, do we have water? Uh, I think we got community water here. Yeah, there's community water. The dump station's like right there. The restrooms are right there. We have a full tank of water. So let's let's do a quick site review. Number one, we are in the Arizona desert, so everything has a sharp point. <laughs> everything is sharp and prickly. Dumpsters are right up there. That's handy. We're very flat. I did not have to do any blocking. Now we're still having the, the, the leveling system is still only half operational so I can drop the driver's side. I have to do it on manual, but I can drop that and support the, the slide. We run downhill to the rear a little bit, but not enough to complain about. The only real complaint is it's hot. We got about three hours before the sun goes behind there and it'll it'll cool off. Meanwhile, we need to do the shower check. Before we do the shower check though, <laughs> I gotta finish the site tour. So we have a metal picnic table on a gravel pad. Now you could pitch a tent right there. And then we have a place to burn some wood. We're not in a burn band, but uh, we're not burning wood. It feels like it's the, the thermometer on the truck said it was 108 degrees. I don't think it's that hot, but it's, it's plenty warm. So we're going to go over here, mainly because I need to go over here. We'll do a shower check. Not too shabby. It actually seems to be pretty modern. We've got... Yeah, you can get a good shower. There's three showers. So there's a handicap. And then we have one more over here. Boom. Yeah. Not too bad, and I think there's actually a little library out here. Well, there's a place for one. And there's Pachaco Peak. So no drone zone. Do not leave pets in car. You can buy some firewood for eight dollars a bundle. The Chaco Peak Visitor Center. The ranger that checked us in, and she said Pachaco Peak is May or Pachaco Peak State Park is primarily known for the hiking. And there's a trail that goes up there somewhere. We won't be doing that. 
but there's a trail up there. There's also some history. So there was a pass cut through the mountains up here by uh, a Mormon battalion. And then there was a battle between Union and Confederate soldiers that just happened to, it happened. It wasn't, it was two patrols out on patrol and they ran into each other started shooting there were only three people three union soldiers died i don't know how many confederate soldiers because they weren't killed immediately they were injured an injury out here in that era was deadly so i'm going to deploy some wheels and we'll go see some stuff at pachaco we'll go see some pachaco peak state park stuff that's a tongue twister. It would seem we have like a mini amphitheater kind of thing. This is on loop C. I don't know. I'm just exploring. A derby of saguaro cacti. This is the 10 only group camping area. Raven. Not really gonna get to get this you're not really gonna get this view on the tour because I'll be coming back the opposite direction. Cattle guard. I'm in the Dianzi, I think he Dianzi group. Dianzi Loop. That's what I'm trying to say. Dianzi Loop. There's lots of little chipmunks running through here. See, everything is sharp. <laughs> so, I, I'm not sure if this is a tent camping loop or just a car camping loop. Doesn't look like tent sites to me. Commanding view. Wow. So there is, there's no camping here. It says right there, no camping. But there are two tables here and two tables here. So if you're, you're traveling on I-10 and you just want to get out and have a break. You don't want to be sitting at the rest stop with all the dang trucks making all the noise. You can come here. Oh, look at that. That's pretty. Can we, can we get there without getting poked? You gotta watch out for rattlesnakes here. last days it's fading away that's mighty fine right there the ratty pack's gonna be so excited because there's all these little furry tail things running around so so if you're traveling oh sun here is rough if you if you're traveling with little ones and and they're tired of sitting in the car and they're driving you crazy well, Pachaco State Park actually has a playground with all kinds of cool stuff. And something that I don't think I've ever seen before. Of course, we've got the little ponies, the skunks. You can, they can ride some skunks, climb on the spider. But I don't think I've ever seen swings that look like this before. I don't even think I could fit in that. I'm too tall. But that's really, really cool. All right, let's go find some more cool. So I, I found the trailhead for two different trails. And 
So they close at sunset. So the Callaway Trail, uh, suitable for dogs. It's 1.4 miles round trip. Descends into a wash and then starts climbing gradually, reaching a total vertical climb of about 334 feet. Moderate. Which means which means I won't be doing it. And then the Hunter Trail goes up there. Uh, it's a 1.6 mile hike to the top. 3.2 round trip. Uh, let's see. And it climbs 1,300 feet. Won't be doing that one either. But there's, there's where you start. Man, that'd be fun to do. All right. I can't do it. And the sun is moving, so I got I got to get moving. The American Civil War in, in the Southwest Trail. How long is it? I don't know. It can't be too very long. I think I'm going to take the bike, though. Cannon. Come and take it. Okay. So this talks about the drone from the Arizona to Mexico. Confederates expanded into the Southwest. Union Captain Callaway, James Barrett with 13 men around the north side of Pachaco Mountains and Baldwin with 12 men around the peak to the south to meet with Barrett's force. These units were to conceal themselves, hold their position, and not engage the enemy lookouts. Pachaco Pass. That's where we are. We're in Pachaco Pass, I guess. Okay, so those are the Pachaco Mountains. I see, okay. And then we have the Portable Mountain Howitzer. This is a reproduction. 12 pound mountain howitzer. Now that's cool. You could transport it on three. Horses, three mules. So they didn't use one at the time of the skirmish. We have the Civil War timeline. And then from this point on, I need I need some wheels. Number 71. This is the Mormon Battalion Trail. The Mormon Battalion of the U.S. Army camped here en route to California, December 17th, 1846, during the war with Mexico on the longest infantry march of record. They were first to unfurl the flag of the United States in Tucson. This marker placed by Aaronic Priesthood, Mesa Third Ward, Marcopius Stake, J.R. Price, President Charles S. Stan Standage, Chairman, Sons of Battalion M.A. Okay. All right, now we know. The Mormons came this way on in the Mexican War. All right. That's time to do... We're not going to do a scooter run. We're going to VR, do a VR tour off of the Vituvia. If you didn't travel with any binoculars and you wanted to see Pachaco, Pachaco, Pachaco Peak. That's what it's called. Pachaco Peak. They even have a store. We'll just do a quick look-see. I 
activities for the kids. Cool. I am wonderful. How are you doing? Thank you. And I, I, I'm not sure what they mean by this, but it says additional parking and restrooms. I guess you're supposed to drive through there somehow. I don't know. I think this is a trailhead. I'm pretty certain it's a trailhead because there's a trail right there. See? There's a trail. And it goes, I think, up there. There's also brood on the Spain expanding the new world. Juan Batista. He came up through Sea of Cortez, I think. And this the Somewhere in the distance into the panorama before you. So this is the Sunset Vista Trail. Uh, it's 2.6 miles. It's 5.2 round trip. They recommend you carry lots of water. Carry a gallon for an hour. All right, let's go. It's just such a cool... If you, if you can get the sun out of the way, it's just such a cool vista looking out across all the saguaro cacti. And if I'm not saying that right, let me know. So if you're looking for a place to stretch your legs, if you're driving on I-10, east or west, through southern Arizona, Pachaco Peak State Park has got you covered. You can get in here for five bucks. Plenty of space to park. Plenty of picnic pavilions. Of course, there's a vault toilet if, if you don't want to use what you're taking with you. Or they have flush toilets at the visitor center. But man, just look at this beautiful view. How cool is that? I, I got to get back to camp and get a camera set up for sunset. So I'll see you at camp. Good morning from Chaco Peak State Park, Arizona. I like this park. I think it's kind of a hidden gem. I'm really surprised at how many sites are still available. This is Saturday morning. We're, what, two miles off of I-10. And I had, there was RVs all over the place yesterday on I-10 very few are actually here which I, I just boggles my mind because this is such a fantastic waypoint stop now, granted there's no water at the sites the 50 and 30 amp power but there's really great showers there's, there's lots of places to stretch your legs just got to be careful for all the prickly stuff the dogs are not happy here uh, that, and that's probably because they haven't seen the little ground squirrels. But we're done here. Uh, the only, there's, there's two detractors for Pichaco Peak, Pichaco Peak State Park. Number one is all the prickly stuff. But that's, you know, part of being in the Arizona desert is prickly stuff. The other detractor is the road noise. You can't really see it from where, where I'm sitting. But if you'll notice, we have this 
big rock formation and then on the other side we've got an even bigger rock formation that makes up Pachaco Pass and those two stone features really seem to amplify the sound of the freeway and, and la last night there were a lot of cars this morning when I got up not too bad the, the volume of both the audio and the, the numbers are increasing so by the end you know by midday it's, the freeway is going to be really loud those are the only two detractors I think it's a great waypoint stop so if you're traveling east or west on I-10 you might want to put this one on your your itinerary but we're done here it was just a impromptu waypoint stop we're going to travel another two hours today short drive day which i did a long drive day yesterday so i could have a short drive day today we are headed to another arizona state park so make sure you remember remember to subscribe so you don't miss the next arizona state park as we work our way back into tech on this journey we will have visited six texas state parks two arizona state parks i think two new mexico state park a national campground and a private campground wow uh, and we still have two state parks to go before before this is over i didn't count those two anyway i'm rambling we're done Appreciate you stopping by and hanging out with me while we explore Chaco Peak State Park. We're headed down the road. We're going to go to Kirchner Caverns. So come along with me. If you've not already, I'd be most honored if you'd consider clicking on that subscribe button. And for those of you who have been following along, I am so grateful. Look, look, look at this. I would not be here. Just a look at that. I noticed something yesterday. Yesterday evening late when the sun was setting, there's saguaro cacti. And I probably can't get it zoomed in, but there's saguaro cacti on top of that mount. And last night when it was backlit by the sun, it reminded me of the old black and white westerns where the Native Americans would be standing on the canyon rim. Maybe that's where they got that idea. But anyway appreciate you i really appreciate those of you who have been following along and our patrons i cannot express my gratitude enough your generosity is most appreciated you guys rock all right y'all come back now you hear